Good morning. This is April 2nd, 2022. My name is Sin Bailey and I am doing my daily I Ching practice. First, we'll take three deep breaths. Now I will throw the coins six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The first I Ching is the approach of spring. This is a changing line, so that's what I will read. Changing line five. The great leaders reveal true power by attracting people of excellent ability and by allowing key associates the freedom to exercise their own judgment. The person able to give power to those who can effectively exercise it gains more power in return. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, the second hexagram is 60. Limits and Connections Limits are necessary to channel energy, guide purpose and lead, land direction to life. Constantly swimming in a sea of boundless opportunity leads to exhaustion. Mm. Winging it alone, wild and free in the sky of unlimited directions and opportunities only leads to becoming lost. In human affairs, the making of decisions and alliances necessarily implies limitation, for in choosing one path, another must be left behind. <coughs> Excuse me. A key to a successful life is to select your limits consciously and carefully, to be discriminating in setting up personal boundaries, but also knowing when to fly in formation, just as thrift often precedes prosperity, Letting go of selfish interest leads to greater personal reward. Only by consciously accepting useful limits can your energy be channeled to good purpose and lead to lasting accomplishment. Aim for a middle way between discipline and freedom of spirit. Limits will come of their own accord, but to consciously make good decisions and select compatible affiliations, that is knowing how to fly. On the other hand, do not go overboard on discipline. Even limitation must be limited in effort to bring order and direction into your life, to avoid tricking up, choking off vital sources of enthusiasm and spontaneity. And you see that when um, in new writers that sometimes they cut so much that they cut out the spontaneity of a story. In groups and organization, rules and regulations should strike a balance between being too strict and too lenient. If these guidelines are too difficult to live with, frustration will build and ultimately become destructive. If the rules are too soft, sloppiness will become acceptable and energy will dissipate. The best path is one that allows for the unfolding of individual potential while encouraging self-discipline and focus along the way. And that is the reading for today. Um, as you noticed, I've been having a little problem with my voice, so I will definitely rest it today and tomorrow. And I'll do the next reading on Monday. So you have a good weekend.